When it comes to the coronavirus, I have four words for you. Be hard to kill. Hi everybody, Dr. Thomas Lamar of Anchor Chiropractic and the 100 Year Lifestyle. And I wanna communicate my perspective on our current coronavirus pandemic. We all know its official name is COVID-19, which stands for Coronavirus Infectious Disease of 2019. And boy, has it caught our attention. Originally, they were calling it a novel coronavirus. It was new because you see coronaviruses in general are not new to us. 20 to 25% of the common colds are coronaviruses, but this one was new. It was a coronavirus that we had never experienced before. And like I said, it caught our attention. This coronavirus though, is incredibly contagious. There is speculation that it came from an animal, like most coronaviruses have, through a process known as zoonosis. This one may have come from a bat. Regardless, the likelihood of catching it is high. And if, if you want my opinion, I think a lot of us have already had it. Remember back in November, December, and even January, that bad cold flu bug that was going around with the cough that no one could kick? Probably the coronavirus but we didn't give it much extra thought. For one thing, it didn't have a name, and also because reasonably healthy individuals had symptoms that were not severe, and, and people recovered. What's interesting about the symptoms with this coronavirus is that though they can be quite severe in some people, they are not directly caused by the virus itself, but rather the collateral damage or impact that is coming from our body's own attempt to fight it off. Experts are saying that because this virus is novel, our body unleashes a full-on frontal attack, a war, which they are calling a cytokine storm, kind of like an allergic reaction or anaphylactic shock. And so we're seeing high fevers and chills as the body attempts to raise its core temperature to cook and strip the virus of its power. We're seeing blood vessels dilating to increase circulation to deliver more white blood cells to the areas in need. And as they do that, they become leaky so that the white blood cells can actually leave the blood vessels and go directly to the site of infection, in this case, the lung tissue. But in doing so, extra fluid goes with it, and that fluid is filling the lungs and making it difficult, in some cases, to breathe, which is why some people need ventilators. But isn't it interesting that the symptoms that we are seeing are really a testimony to the body's own internal innate intelligence working on our behalf to heal and be healthy. Make no mistake though, this is a nasty virus. There is a battle out there and the battle is against a strong virus. It's a battle that we are all banding together to fight collectively, but we need to remember that ultimately this is a battle that will be won individually. If you want to win a battle against a strong virus, you need a strong host. You need to be strong. You don't win this battle by running and hiding from it, by isolating yourself from the world. It's not won by spraying yourself with virus repellent and washing your hands 40 times a day, foregoing handshaking and bumping elbows instead, reaching for masks, gloves, ventilators, or waiting for a vaccine. It is won as my colleague Brad Glowacki so perfectly stated, by being hard to kill. If the likelihood of catching COVID-19 is high, which it is, we need to change our thought process from not how do I not catch this to what can I be actively doing right now and moving forward to enhance my own and my family's immune system. Social distancing will not do this. Social distancing was not and has never been about eliminating the virus. And I think that's an important point that can easily get lost in all of the hysteria. Rather, social distancing has been a strategy put in place to flatten the curve and slow down the spread of the virus so our medical system doesn't get overwhelmed it won't ultimately win the battle against this virus. That is dependent on you. Remember, those that have reasonably good health can handle this. Those that don't, unfortunately, are going to have a very rough go. And for them, avoidance tactics makes a lot of sense. Unfortunately, sadly, a small percentage are dying. 
but the data just isn't showing that it has been any more than we tolerate from the flu each year. People die. It happens. And it is sad. But what we're finding is that those that are dying are not hard to kill, but easier to kill. The majority, like 99% in Italy and 94% in New York City, had comorbidities. In other words, they had additional health problems or challenges that made them weaker vessels. Many were engaged in poor lifestyle choices and habits that made it even worse and further weakened their systems. So it's not necessarily that people are dying from COVID-19, but with COVID-19. They are the most vulnerable people. So what are some things you can start doing right now to make you a least vulnerable person, to make you hard to kill? We have an article on our website, anchorchiropractic.net, and I'll put a link below this video that is entitled, Becoming a Least Vulnerable Person. In it, we identify 15 things you can stop doing and start doing that will make a difference to help you and your loved ones become less vulnerable. There's even a video link in the article of Dr. Eric Plasker, author of The 100-Year Lifestyle, delivering an entire presentation on this concept. Look, whether we like it or not, life as we have known it has suspended. This is a chance for many of us to slow down simplify, and take stock in what's really important in our lives. This is the chance for you to be honest and to look at your health habits and make some intentional positive changes. Drop unhealthy habits and, and take up good ones. Give your body all the resources you can so you can live up to your fullest potential, your 100-year lifestyle. May this COVID-19 pandemic be the reset that you give yourself and your family that says moving forward will be different. Hey, thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone. We're here to help.